Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing about data structure and next in this series we'll talk about graphs, graph data structure. Graph is a non-linear data structure consisting of nodes and edges. Nodes is also called as vertices and edge is an arc or line that connects any two nodes in the graph. Previously in this video series we discussed about stack, queue, linked list and tree data structure. In that stack, queue and linked list are linear data structure. In these data structures, data is stored or organized linearly or sequentially. And tree is a non-linear data structure where data is stored or organized hierarchically. And today we are discussing about graph and graph is also a non-linear data structure. And also tree is a special type of graph. That means a tree will always be a graph, but not all graphs will be trees. Okay, so before starting with the graph data structure, let's see what is the difference between tree and graph. Trees are nothing more than the restricted types of graph. And in tree, we can see a special node called root node. So every tree will have root node and every node will have only one parent except the root node. Other than the root node, every other node will have only one parent node. That's why if tree contains n nodes, then n minus one edges will be present in that tree. And also there is only one path from the root node to any other node, right? So for example, if I want to go to D, then I need to go to A, B, D. If I want to go to E, A, B, E. If I want to go to C, A and C. There is only one path from the root node to any node. But in graphs, we don't have any special node called root node here every nodes are equal and also between any two nodes we can have multiple paths for example if i want to traverse from f to e one path is this right another path is this another path is this we can have multiple path between the two nodes and also graphs can contain cycles that is if i start from one node by traversing few other nodes, I can reach the same node. For example, if I start from here, A, B, D, C, A. This is a cycle. I can reach the starting point, right? But in the tree, that is not possible. All right, so this is about the tree and graph. Every trees are graph, but every graphs are not tree. And here we have graph, right? Here A, B, F, C, D, E. These are all the vertices and this is the edge. If I want to represent an edge, then I can say F, A. It is denoted using the vertices. This is the connection between the F and A. So this edge is F, A. This is A, B or B, A. So edges can be directed or undirected. We'll talk about that directed graph and undirected graph in the next tutorial. Alright, so now we know what is graph data structure and what is the difference between tree and graph data structure. Next, actually these graphs are the mathematical concepts and the study of graph is called as graph theory. So mathematically we can define graph like this. It is the ordered pair of vertices and edges. So we can write it as G is equal to VE. You can see the parenthesis right here. This parenthesis indicates the ordered pair. If I represent this in the curly braces, that is the unordered pair. Here V is nothing but set of vertices, E is nothing but set of edges. When I mention set of vertices, vertices can be in any order. Here edge also, it can be in any order. Alright, so next let's see where we can use these graphs. So graphs can be used in GPS system or Google Maps to find the shortest path from one destination to another. If you are using Google Maps or GPS, you know, it will show you the shortest path from one destination to another, right? And also in the social networks like Facebook and LinkedIn, graphs are used to represent the connection between the users. And also in the e-commerce website to show the recommendation, that is in some e-commerce website, they will show you, right? People who bought this item also bought this item. They'll show you, recommend you some more items, right? For that also graphs are used. 
Also, Google search algorithms also use graph. In computer science, graphs are used to represent the flow of computations. So next, let me show you a few example. So here we have a map, small map. Here, this is the Albert's house. If you want to go to school, there are multiple paths, right? Here you can see. One path is through Sally's house or another path is this. Here the buildings or the house is taken as node and the path which connects these two buildings is represented as edge. And also in the Facebook, if this is my friend circle and my friend Jenny can have her own circle, right? And her friends may not be my friends. So here you can see Sam is friend of Jenny as well as uh, Kiara. So Facebook will suggest me Sam because my friends are friends with Sam. So it will show the friend suggestion like that. And also in the e-commerce websites, for example, if I buy jeans with the white top and another customer, for example, Sam, who also buy the same combination. Now, if an, another customer buys only jeans, then the white shirt is recommended to that person. You can see right in Amazon and all while you are buying some clothes or any item, they'll show you the people who bought this also bought this. You can try this like that. All right, so this is about the graph data structure. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about the different types of graph. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.